oh, oh, hey, you guys. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you came for that pirate tale. Of, of course. Why didn't you see me last week? I was sleeping the whole time? I don't remember exactly. Oh, no, no, no. I'm all right. I've just been having some, uh, long nights. But enough about me. You came for the story. Whew. Oh, my God. I can't believe we made it away from that tailor. That was, that was frightening. He wasn't that. He was, he was a kind soul. He, you know, it came from a place of respect. I like that in a person, you know, respect. Well, like I really connected with him. I don't think I would, I, I didn't feel very respected from that. <laughs> I don't think my privacy was respected. Privacy, smivacy. Like when you, when you hit the island, you sign a contract. We all know the contract. We signed it ourselves. That say you can be measured by anybody. Uh, I thought that was referring to like, like a measurement of quality, you know, like like your 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 spiritual measurement. <laughs> Little <laughs> mystics, okay. I. Just... I mean, that is definitely a a uh, form of measurement. Of confusion, and a form of measurement quality. <laughs> your your like yeah. moral quality, yeah. Exactly. You know, I think a lot of islands like to measure people's moral quality. Well, you know whose moral quality. quality I've measured is the tailor's, and I don't like it. I don't like his... He's not an upstanding individual, is, is how I'd put it. Well, do you have the security tapes? Have you been surveying his moral character? No, he's been surveying mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's, no, exactly was... what, that's exactly what I'm disapproving of. Okay. I mean, Let's get out of here. Yeah, good riddance. <laughs> what about you, Grumbo? What do you think of the tailor? I didn't even mean him, man. I was... I stuck with the robot the entire time. I was only used to that with the song. Huh. Consider yourself lucky. Well, what did you do in the robot then? Wait for you two. <laughs> Tapping your foot. Tapping your foot. Me and anybody or anything like that? Anyone interesting? Actually, yeah, come and think about it. I actually did, uh, save, uh, stretch for a little bit, but, all right, there we go. Yeah, yeah, sort of like, yeah. Gotta, gotta, gotta stay, you stay flexible, yeah. you know? I mentioned I actually did well, go to the tower no, to see. I don't see. have to worry about such things, because I'm, I'm rowing, constantly. Excuse me, Mr. Boxy. Grumbo was talking, you directed me. No, I'm the, I, you know what, I'm your host. Even Boxy on this episode of Rowboat Talk, and I do not interrupt my guests. Grumbo, please continue. Well, I said you that's Howard and Sue. Well, thank you for not interrupting Grumbo. That was kind of you. Well, now, yeah, now that we've not interrupted Grumbo, I think it's safe to say he can proceed and can and continue yeah. talking. Really? So anyway, no, no, right, Grumbo, continue talking, please. Yeah, please go ahead. Keep, I mean, like, you, oh, I will yeah, indeed. I reserved. I, I really, yeah, I want you I to feel free to speak your mind. Please keep talking. You ever heard of ghost ships? Uh, no. Ghost ships? Recently, yeah, it's basically yeah, flame has been causing a bit of a ruckus lately. You'd be able to summon ghost ships from the Sea of Thieves, wrecking oh, havoc. Cool. Take it back a notch. Yeah. This I, is, I, that's Wayne a lot Hart. of information. A lot I'm of, sorry. Well, I'm, you know, I'm I'm not usually. There's a lot of crazy things going on in the Sea of Thieves, but Flameheart. I mean, that's like that's yeah. a dumb name. What did he get that that that's something? pretty fake. Who <laughs> names Who names somebody off of a heart condition? That seems King, kind of insensitive. King Heartburn. Imagine if you were called. Uh, you guys do Lewis or something like that. Did you realize that the reason he got his name is because he literally? Yeah, they call me cardiac arrest. <laughs> he That's literally managed You two do realize that Flavor got his name because he literally carved a heart out of one of his victims and then, then cooked it up as a nice little meal for himself. But then why is he not called uh, Cooked Heart? Cut, or a, cut a heart out of somebody and eat it as a meal heart. Was well done. He burnt it and then ate it. He burnt it? He's not even a good what cook? Is, what does this guy have going for him? What is this? Yeah. He's a freaking skeleton, not pirate. He's a freaking skeleton. Well, then why did he cut so much hard not to eat it if he's a skeleton? Yeah, he doesn't need sustenance. Where does he get off? He seems kind of sus. Well, intimidation. Intimidation. But anyways, yeah, after that... 
that one of the ghost uh, ghost Pendragon and a couple other pirates accidentally released his spear back into Sea of Thieves. He's been doing stuff ever since. What an since. idiot! What kind, of, what kind of dummy would release the spirit of a, of a person who goes around eating hearts on its Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know, that, like, you know that, that's just something we don't really need here in the Sea of Thieves. Exactly. Like, I know there's a, um, heart attacks are a big problem here, and the last thing we need is somebody going around with the name heart attack just to scare people into having more heart attacks. <sighs> think, I mean, think of the, the, well, the charts alone. The increases in, in, in heart attack cases across the Sea of Thieves are gonna skyrocket. I mean, just, exactly. You know, we've got so many elderly around here. You've seen, you seen the Merchant Alliance. All those people are like, you know, they're from another 60. era. Exactly. So, oh. oh. well, because of, all right. Well, there's a couple of job wages people are uh, Duke and the Order Souls are offering or hunting down these scale, these ghost ships for some good money. Money? Yeah. Money. Ooh, that sounds that sounds very tasty, like a flaming heart. It's been mouthwatered. Okay, bud. Uh, don't ever do that again. Yeah, Douglas, I'm gonna have to ask you to refrain. <laughs> I'm just dripping in saliva. I'm, I mean, money I'm is sorry. very delicious. I myself. Give me a second. I need to I'm wash myself off. Can you go over to the shore real quick? We're. Oh wait, hold on. Why? What are we doing here? So oh island. well, I initially came here to get cover from that creepy tailor. I was just that frightened. But uh, oh, I see. Seeing as he doesn't really have a method of following us, I, I guess it was rather childish of me to come in here that way. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll just we'll leave now. We'll leave now. Wait, no, no, go over to the shore. I need to wash myself off. I'm covered in spit. You just, you had to dribble all over yourself, huh? Well, what can I say? Money and flaming hearts just really appeal to my sensibilities. You know right. what? I, I, I don't have much to say about that, actually. Maybe, okay, maybe about the flaming heart bit. Now, I've got, I've got, I've got a little bit to say about that. But money, right, on the other say it. Say it? Oh, Alright, you know what? You know, you caught me. You caught me. I actually don't. I was just I was messing with you. I was kidding around. It was a haha. -ha. Well how about this? I got I got I got an idea for you guys, alright? Yeah? If we can avoid Taylor by going to Gold Sands, then at Gold Sands we can get a good a ghost ship voyage trying to and if we can take down some ghost ships, we can get some sell the loot, they drop some good money. This sounds like a very good idea. So you're saying we go to another outpost, but obviously not Sanctuary, because I'm not looking to get jumped by the mysterious measure tape man again. And we go to ask around for about these ghost ships? Yeah, Order of Souls, or Duke Schnobam, so... Oh, so the there. Mystics, yes, of course. Yeah, he will have mentioned for the third time in a row. Well, it sounds like a plan, then. That's what we'll be doing in this episode. On you already finished the episode. Well, uh, eight minutes in on the episode. Uh, <laughs> okay, you know what? Wow. If you think we're gonna be really? disagreeable, then I'm just gonna sit here quietly and row. Okay then. So Grumbo, uh, please tell us more about these uh, ghost ships and such, and this uh, heart attack, cardiac arrest man. Uh -huh. Flame Heart does not like the current people of Sea of Thieves, and is slowly trying to take it over for himself. Ghost ships are his most recent attempt at doing so. And so what, are, what are they though? Basically, you you've heard of the uh, Fairy of the Damned, Sea of the Damned. Yeah, I have. I learned about it in my uh, poli sci class actually. I think I learned about that too at uh, the University of Snake Island. Wait. No, you're from the University of Snake Island. Well, I, I have mentioned multiple times that I, yes. I grew up on Snake Island, that I was educated in Snake Island, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you could have inferred it. Well, I didn't realize you went to school at the University of Snake Island. Where else would he go? You see, that's <laughs> our rival in Pig Ball. Wait, you're right. <sighs> that's I, true. I don't, know. I don't know if I can do this podcast anymore. If I'm sitting with a Snake Island, a snaker. Oh. I can't stand these guys. Well, you know, I'm I myself actually I'm a big fan of the uh, the Chicken Island uh, pigball pigballers. But, God, uh, he's not even loyal to his own team. 
Oh, have you what seen the Chicken Island pig molly? I mean, they're just, they're, they're crazy. They're, they're going insane. Also, they're kind of our, they're one island over, you know, it's basically home. Exactly. But, but you, you're not even loyal to your own team. But, uh, but it's Fairweather Johnson, I don't know what they're called. God. That's disrespectful. That's this is exactly what I was what I would expect from somebody who's wow, so, so first you take issue with my with my my team, the one that I don't support, and then you take issue with the fact that I don't support them. You know what? Yes. If you're <laughs> Yes, this... I do. Okay. Oh, this I feel so attacked right now. Grumbo, Grumbo, what can, please back me up here. No, so, back me up, being unreasonable. What? What do you want me to do? I'm literally behind you. Back me up. There's no way oh, he has to go behind you. It's true. Grumbo is behind me, not you. He's he's actually backing no. me up. I but no, you're in front of me technically. All right, you know if you're gonna be disagreeable too, then I'm I'm just I'm gonna sit here and, and whine. Stop you might I don't watch pickball. I don't pay attention to sports that much. Well, what, what do you do pickball then? Pickball is life. What are you talking about? I'm a Pink freaking pirate, I just go for loot. I can't do anything other than sit around and be entertained by the pigball all day long. Well, maybe if we explain the rules of pigball, you'll be more interested in it. Yes, exactly. You see, there are ten basic rules to pigball, okay? And yes. me and Boxy will list them off sequentially. Me starting at one, and then Boxy at two. Alright? Not... <laughs> just to get you more hooks. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, it's exactly, of course. Okay, so the first rule of pig ball is that you have to be touching the pig ball the whole time. Yes, and the second rule of pig ball is that if you fail to touch the pig the whole time, then you have to take a knee. And when you take a knee, that leads into the third rule. When you take a knee, you're out of the game. And the fourth rule is when you're out of the game, you get booted off the island. You literally have to swim back. I'm just, yeah. that was a continuation. I'm, I'm under rule five now. Yes, yes. And um, then rule six is once you swam back. <laughs> they go out of order a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's, these are long games. To, to, like, I, yeah. when, when you go to watch these things, I mean, there's a lot of swimming involved. Mm -hmm. it's, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta use your spy glasses for how far they take those people away and they have to swim all the way back. But uh, yeah. anyway, rule six. Rule six is um, once you've swam back, you then have to uh, <laughs> you have to find a pig on the island that you're on. It doesn't have to be the the pig ball, but it does have to be a pig. Yeah. Um. So rule five. Going back a little bit because I got skipped. I thought. Well, um, no, you said rule five was that you had to swim back. No, 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 no. That was I was continuing off of rule four. Yeah, which is rule five. That's what a continuation of a rule is. You see, this is why I can't stand you, Snake Islanders. Uh, all right. Well, by your logic, there would actually be eleven rules. Well, okay. But there are only ten rules. Okay. Well, actually, if you play it the way they do on Ancient Spire, there's really only eight rules because they don't bother with seven and eight in, in what would be your ten rules. Well. <laughs> You know, this is why this is Snake Islanders, man. You see, they inherited it from your system, okay? And that's well, why. Okay, well, that's true. Like Go, okay, well, would you rather them, them having played our, like, inherited version or keep doing what they were doing before they had access to Pigball and, and keep playing their just disgusting snake soccer? <laughs> do you, you guys I mean, don't do like you that much. realize how hard that was to watch? Off. How, how much anti venom they had to store on the island? Yeah, I mean that that's a good point. <laughs> I would I would see some of the um the snake soccer games from my home island because, you know, I've only been on one island. But yeah. when I watched those games, they were they were brutal. There were people dropping dead like all the time. Well, I mean yeah. It's Which of course gives the other team a point. And then it, well, it was just it was well, just that's what the point system was based off. It was how many people just drop dead from poison, but uh, or from yeah, venom. exactly. Well, and I then mean, that led to the whole like um, conspiracy between like poisoning the players during the pre-game lunch. Well, yeah, exactly. Because the, because the coaches would just like flat out, you know, kill their players. <laughs> hey, yeah, <laughs> What's up? exactly. 
they would take poison before the game even started, and then, you know, that just... And then feed the other disaster. team point. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Not very good. <laughs> it, 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 it is big snake soccer. Corporations, you know? One thing exactly. the, wait, wait, you shut up. Wouldn't eventually they simply become immune to the poison? No, because no, they take so much they die. <laughs> the problem, you can't be immune if you're dead. I mean, yeah, but no, that means you're immune because you don't feel anything. It doesn't affect you if you're dead. Well, if you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. What kind of fan is Hog Rumbo? You're one of, you're one of those people who sits at the back of the crowd going, It's better this way. The no, time. I'm the person that robs people as they leave. You know what? Anyways, well, that was enough about snake soccer. Uh, I'm gonna continue on to rule five of uh, pig ball, which we kind of branched off from. So uh, rule five of pig ball is that um, the only way to let go of the pig without taking a knee and then swimming, whatever, is to you have to give it to the other team. You have to have the pig touch them, but then have your other teammate grab the pig after that. The pig ball. Yes. Yes. And then you already did rule six, so I guess I'll go into rule seven. Yes, which, which is once you come back and you've, and you've already touched the other pig. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, once you've touched a new pig, then you are allowed to um, grab the pig from your other teammates to prevent them from getting a knee. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what rule <laughs> Now we're on rule eight. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, anyway, so, so, so rule eight, rule eight is, uh, is really, it's kind of a complex one. Right. So, oh, and he's gone to sleep. And he fell asleep. Well, I think he was pretty uh, interested. I'm drowsy. Well, so, uh, <laughs> Grumbo really knows, like, what's going on. You can tell. Yeah. You can see the excitement in his eyes. Exactly. And in his voice. Because of all the times he kept interrupting us. Even yes. Though, with, with he kept getting, asking more questions about with the With joy uh, yeah. over how, how fascinating Pig Ball is to him. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting game. Uh, I think he's tired of it, though. Well, you know, you can't have too much Pig Ball at once. Otherwise, you know, you get fatigued. It's just, it's a whole thing. True. You know, I was going to become a Pig Ball player, but uh, I can't swim. That and is like the problem. The so right yeah, there. I mean, if you if you stop touching the pig at any point, I mean, that's that's kind of it for you, Douglas. Well, yeah. Well, that's why we have you know the runners who are the people who are just so good they they never take the knee and then have to swim. Uh, but yeah. I'm not I'm not good enough, so I couldn't be a runner. Dang. A that is that's that's really sad to hear. I mean, you know, yeah. we've 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 really gotten into some into some uh, some deep meaningful backstories before here on Robot Talk, but I think that's got to be the saddest. Yeah, I know. I know. Couldn't be a pig ball runner. Exactly. Well, what does what Grumbo over here have going for him in his, in his dark and tragic past? What, like, is a pirate? A is veteran? A that's ba that's stuck, basically nothing. Stuck in a new land and is trapped here forever? I mean, that's, we're all like that, so I mean, come yeah, on, come suck on, it up, man. man. It's not that bad. Man, if only, if only he was gonna be, gonna be able to defend himself, but he's just still sleeping, huh? Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I can't believe this guy so, so, was planning to have shame. His, his own... Would be a shame. What? I wasn't doing anything with the bucket and water <laughs> while you were sleeping. I um, can't believe Grumbo was planning to have his own podcast. You can't even stay awake long enough for one episode <laughs> of Robo Talk. Yeah, it'd be like an hour-long podcast because you just fall asleep after 30 minutes. And then I, I, yeah, I wonder asleep. why. Maybe because you all decide to do them. To start these things in the evening, instead of wait till freaking morning once everyone's well rested. Well, I'm sorry that we just wait around doing nothing for a while until it, this, the sun sets. That's just how we do things. I got change, because sometimes plans should change for better. Well, uh, would you like to wait? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, you, you know what? Sleep? I guess we'll all sleep until morning, since Grumbo over here still hasn't gotten rid of the worldly tradition of sleeping, even though we don't need to God. do that in the Sea of Thieves. Exactly, because we just always have energy. Just give it up, man. Such a, yeah. such a uh, externally sourced uh, individual. What? 
in the sense that he his source where he originates from is external outside of the sea of thieves you get what i'm saying uh -huh, yeah. I see. I was, anyway i was never part of this this place i can't i'm one of the outsiders yeah he's from he's from the outside Wait, world where really? they actually need to sleep i'm so surprised because you act so much like the rest of the sea of thieves peoples that's why i came here why what why did you come here I fit, be among, in, I, be among light, uh, I fit in here. You fit in here. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, you say that, but then you still sleep. And then you sleep. Exactly. That's you gotta. You gotta do like. I can't. Focus. You gotta keep it perfect. Yeah. Well, that's fair. You that's see, fair. we have this thing called coffee. Um, oh yeah. You guys coffee from outside the sea of fears. Oh, I know we about it. It's into our blood, so we're always awake. I, okay, I don't know if that's how you stay awake, but for, what? <laughs> for everyone else in the Sea of Thieves, it's just the general, the, the, the land here, it's magical, we don't need to sleep. I don't, I don't know about none Wait. of this coffee injection, I, if that's how you've been doing it. But <laughs> You guys don't have coffee injected into your blood? I would be. Mine? I've got it right here, give me some. Yes, please, uh, allow me, yeah, can I just see your bloodstream real quick? Yeah, give me... Yeah, see that? Okay, yeah, see good. That? Nice, nice, nice Sorry. artery, bro. That's pretty no, cool. Bro, I can't show you right now. I'm showing Foxy. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, right. and that's not like health. There's no health detriment to that at all, really. Well, it gets me super hyper, but that's why I drink grog all the time because. Uh, uh, yes. So now you, like so you have combo. a depression and uh, an alertness beverage. Great. Yeah. I was gonna say it feels like forever since I've had a, some grog, but it was only last episode. But that feels like forever. last episode on Robo. I'm sorry, I just forced to have it at this point. Last. <laughs> How are we gonna <laughs> introduce the previous episode? Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Fox, do you care about asking why you're avoiding the old sands? I'm making a wide turn. We're gonna come in at the right port, you know. The the tides, the the the, the currents. Uh, you you would understand. You're not you're not the one driving the road. You don't yeah, know since it. you're not a local, you obviously don't understand like the traffic control that where we need to get. It's, it's really it's just a really um really convoluted system of uh of, of yeah. arriving. At so, you know, you gotta like spiral around them, signal with a bell and speaking trumpets. It's, it's oh, really. Oh, it's, it's pretty I'm getting it. I'm getting yeah. a signal. I'm getting a signal. Uh, they're saying we can come in now. All right. right okay. Time. We're uh, all right. We'll we'll begin the uh, the epic docking procedure. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, the thing is done. You gotta really finesse it. Yeah. So the, the so the problem is we're in a rowboat and it's meant for you know the smallest ship being like a sloop and uh, I'm I'm sure it'll work out fine. Don't worry. Yeah, what he said. I was paying attention. I'm in zone now. What? What are we? We're at Golden Sands, where we're gonna find out about these so-called ghost ships that the Grumble was mentioning. Ah, I see. I see. Ah, that's that's something right there. Ah. Uh, uh, I'll say that there's one issue with the ghost ships that's right now. What, what's that issue? Uh, the, oh, they need to be. We either need the story of cannibals, or we have to do something about kids to feed them. Well, we'll, we'll manage. Yeah, who told you that? that, that that's, that's which is why, which requires a ship. Or, if we can find the right place at the right time, we can use the cannons on the island to shoot the ghost ship. I think we should go with that plan. That seems like a good idea. The issue is uh, finding an island again. Be able to find ghost ships on an island that happens to have cannons. Yeah, that is that is a bit troublesome. But uh, you know what? We'll have to figure it out. Hmm. Why don't we just request uh, the person to send us to an area with cannons on the island? Because the ghosts, because we can't do that. Because the ghosts aren't always there. Why not just ask Flameheart to send the ghosts to an island where we can do that? Exactly. Do you see? He seems seem like a reasonable guy from what you've told me. Do you Looks see like a gold uh, sky? Let's go, uh... Yeah? Uh, so, oh, by the way, Grumbo, who do we have to talk to to find out more about these, uh, these ghosts? Um, 
There's two people you can. You. you can either talk to the mystics of the Aurora Souls, or you can go to the tower and talk to Duke. Ah, the mystics has more moolah. Technically, the Aurora Souls, however, they're way more difficult to deal with. Well, I think I think we can take that. Yeah, right. hey, I mean, just for the money, it's okay. I'm great at talking yeah. to the mystics. This is a cool mystic shack here. Hey, oh, look at this you, lady. Mm, hello. They How always talk like fine, <laughs> sir. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, hey. Uh, listen. Uh, we're we're trying to trying to hear about these um. These, oh, uh, these, that's ghost this tips. girl. You I, I'm know, know what, what I'm talking about. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. I know what you were talking about. Do you and your companions want to uh, hear about? The ghost ship. Oh, don't, don't, don't worry. We've already heard plenty. Uh, we just, I'm just looking to, uh, to, to find like where they might be. You know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Of course. I can send you on one. I, I'll give you this, uh, paper real quick, and then you, uh, you equip it, and then it will tell you. I oh, have a look at that. Yeah. Okay. Right, right here. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, you see it right there? It's, it's a little. You got, look under the uh, skulls there. Right yes. There. Yes. You, you see it? Yeah. All right, good. You know which island you're going to be then? Right. I certainly do. And we'll we'll have to go there next time on Robot Talk. Let's get well, back bye. to the robot. Also, Wait. bye. Mystic lady. Bye, Mr. I forgot your name. I never uh, even mentioned it. Anyway, cool let's lady. go. I hate me. I mean, uh, I, I hate me. Got to be away from that. Got to be away from that crazy girl. I mean, she seemed kind of nice. I don't... I don't know why you guys uh, hate any of the locals. Well, okay, well, I, Taylor, like, Taylor, uh, you know, he, he invaded my personal space. The I'll Mystics, see they just, you know, they, they, they talk stupid, they have, they, they talk slow. Hey, don't insult their voice. Also, uh, Rory, it should be known that I have issues with, uh, that one in particular. What? It, when, what? Why? Wait, do you, did you know her? Uh, mm -hmm. perhaps. What? Oh, is that why you ran out of the thing while she was talking? Yeah, you kind of yeah. got out of there in a hurry. Like, before yeah. we... Before I here. forgot that she, uh, now resides at Golden Sands. Well, where did you well, know her? Yeah, wait. I feel like that'd be a great topic for next time we're going to talk. Well, you know what? I couldn't agree more, Reef and Davy Grumbo. We'll have to find out next time. I've already done the outro. Uh, uh, yeah. Just say it again. One more time. Next time on Robot Talk. Uh, uh, well, I think that's all I can muster right now. Where is my pillow? Oh, one question before you leave. Uh, why didn't you see the man in the corner last week? Oh, damn, they must have gone to him. Oh, oh, it's, it's nothing. Uh, I'm going to uh, take my nap now. Goodbye. Reap and Davy Grumbo was played by Andrew Morris, Stephen Boxy was played by Stuart Lunn, and Rummy Douglas was played by Jameson Brewer. Promotional art by Stuart Lunn, theme song by Jameson Brewer. <laughs>